Oh, Jesus. That's not good. Come on, guys. We got this. 50 meters away, but I'm in the red. Can you imagine riding up an epic alpine climb, being chased by one of the world's best climbers? How much of a head start would you need to survive 14 kilometers at 10.8% average gradient without getting caught? We're going to find out. GCN's very own twig, the rider with more KOMs than any other on the planet, has been persuaded to leave his home in leafy England and travel to the Global Bike Festival in Saalbach in Austria. He is in heaven, surrounded by epic climbs and with as much jam on toast on tap as he can manage. Today, he's been asked to go full throttle up the fearsome Grossglockner, and he's going to leave at 12 p.m. sharp. All right, Angie, how long is it going to take you to ride the Grossglockner? I reckon about an hour. An hour? I reckon, yeah. Isn't that four minutes quicker than the KOM? It's a bit slower than the KOM. I'm, feel I'm feeling a bit tired today, so I've got to build that in. Um, Here we go. <laughs> I'm only going to do 400 watts, lads. All right, an hour. I reckon around an hour, yeah. Maybe what, just under an hour. What power are you going to sustain? I don't know. Maybe try and go for 350. Um, okay. It's a, long, it's a long way to the top. I've ridden it once before, and it's, it's really hard. Really cold at the top. Okay. Richie and Toby from GCN Alf Deutsch. Guys, I'm thinking I'm going to need about 15 minutes, right? I've, I've done some maths. Very, very crude maths. <laughs> but I'm an idiot, so I'm going to give myself 10 minutes. What about you guys? What's your weight? 73. I'm going to try and do about okay. 350. I'm nearly the same. I can do nearly the same wattage, so I would say let's make a team. Yeah. Team GCN. Let's I like you. this. But do we have some more manpower? Alex! Guys, that right? is the power. big guy. Yeah. The big guy. Do you, oh. want to, do you want to be part of our team? Um, yeah, I think I do. <laughs> I think <laughs> I do. You Your GCN choice. presenters. We can beat Andrew Feather if we can get a 10-minute head start. Can we? We better. Um, I'm slightly concerned that I am the heaviest person here. Yeah. Someone's but got to be the heaviest, maybe. I'm right? even lighter than Andrew. Are you? Yeah, one kilo. Right. Nice. You've got oh, this. Tell me then. <laughs> um, to the climb? To the climb. Let's do it. Okay. How much of a head start do you think you need to beat Andrew Feather? I guess 20 minutes, half an hour. So I'm already late. So he's catching me halfway. A solid week. <laughs> a week. Week and a half if he doesn't puncture. 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Week, half an hour, maybe 45 minutes. Good luck, mate. So no, one and a half to two hours. 20 minutes. 19 minutes. Uh, I would say 30 to 35. It's a tough time. I need, I think, uh, at least one hour. One hour? One hour. 45 minutes. 45 hey. minutes. <laughs> World Tour rider. How many? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm not Italian. <laughs> Think we might have found the rider that's going to win today. Look at that cassette. 11 to 23 with a 39. How fast are you going to go, sir? Probably 8 case average. <laughs> so what's that, about 20 RPM? Yeah, probably 45. <laughs> I love it. Bit of old school. Can't beat it. Okay, team. Should we do this? Yes, yes. All right, sunglasses on. Right, we've got 10 minutes before Andrew starts. He better not cheat. He better give us 10 minutes. He's taking his water bottle off. Of course he's going to cheat. Right, come on then. Good luck, guys. OK, right, here we go then. Straight out of the blocks. And what's this gradient? Like 10%? I think it's a buff. It feels a buff, like, but Simon is in a good mood. He's looking good with his hairy legs. And uh, yeah, and also Toby, our climber for today. He's looking white and also good. I'm a bit worried, to be honest. Ten, ten minutes is quite a, quite a long time. So um, no, they should put in a decent margin uh, to start with. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, I'll give him my best shot. I've ridden it before. It's a really, it's a really hard climb. Um, really cold at the top, so um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a best shot. So feather sets off in about 20 seconds from now. It's going to be tough. Woo! 
Right, I'm off. We're well, setting a good tempo. Toby on the front, like a metronome, tapping it out. You can hear though, we're going pretty hard. Wattage update, 332 average. A bit below what we set out, but it seems ample right now. Can already feel it getting cold. Hopefully I haven't gone too hard, too early. It's uh, just coming out to 10 minutes. It's just a, it's just a grind. Just like consistent 11%. Toby's leaving us. Toby, I good job. Bother. I will bother Andrew <laughs> by putting in the text. Yeah. See you. See you. Alex, the big horse, is pushing in the front. Sai. Sai is looking like he's turning 30 next week. But that's a lie, he's actually turning 40. Great job, guys. Let's go, go, go. Well done. I'm trying to get a bit of a rhythm, but it's hard. It's a steep climb this, isn't it? Doing about 390, probably not sustainable. So, well, I've overcooked it. Look at that view. Unreal. Andrew Feather is in hot pursuit. How confident are you feeling, Richie? I think he's five minutes off, so maybe we can make it. Yes, we can make it. Look at this. Hey, thanks, man. Well, like, after nearly 1,000 meters of climbing, we are beginning to feel that the air is getting a bit thinner. As you can hear, it's not that easy to talk anymore. Oh, it's nearly as, as thin as size calls. Feather is gaining on us, but we still can't quite see him on the hairpins below us. We're going absolutely flat stick. Richie is setting an amazing tempo, but the altitude is biting. We've all lost about 20 watts, so we're struggling at 320. Yeah, how far back is he? Oh, Jesus. That's not good. That's not good. It's getting close now. We're not far from the top. Just a few hundred meters vertical elevation to go. This is like being in the early breakaway of the Tour de France. You know you're doomed. You just don't know when. I have two Nocturna in my head. Oh, yeah. He's a private dancer, a dancer for money. He'll do what you want him to do. If you can sing, you can write, Sai. <laughs> That's zone six. Zone six, Tina. May she rest in peace. Come on, guys, we got this. We can do it. That's the top. It's definitely hurting. 50 meters away. 50 meters away, but I'm in the red. Here he is. He's coming. Rich, have you got anything left, mate? A bit. Or just a little bit. 
And you? Not much. I'm in the red now. Try to hold him up. 380. But it's too little, too late. Ah, he's there. Ah. Ah. All what have gone. Fair play, mate. Thanks, man. Go, Richie. Alex and I have been dropped. Richie is hanging in there. The Team GCN. Feathers caught him, but he's not gone past. No. So it's all to play for. We're playing cat and mouse, I think. So we're gonna try our best to keep going and Sam, catch up. That's it. The catch has been made. He has caught us but it's not all over yet. Richie still has something left in the legs. Can he hold on? The climb rears up towards the peak and tarmac turns to cobbles. It turns out that Feather was the fifth fastest rider in history on Strava and the fastest outside of stage four of the Tour of Austria 2016. Man, you're a machine. Hi, Ben. Hi, flying. Oh. That was so hard. That's just horrible. Oh, I feel pretty sick. It's just like, at the top, it's just like, your power just goes down. Yeah. Like, after about 1800, you're just like, whoa. Yeah. I did 340 watts. 340. 340, yeah, but I'm like 74 kilograms, so that fits. Fits, yeah. I'm about 66. Yeah. Like mate, machine, you machine. Mate. Well done. You already know you're a machine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's, oh. like, that's really hard. <sighs> oh. When you, yeah, as I said, when, when I caught you and you started accelerating, because I just. Bridge the gap, did a bit of an effort, and I was like, oh no, just slow down, slow down. Oh, here's, uh, here's Alex. Yeah. Yeah, oh, boy! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, oh, mate. Nice. Fair play. Well done, man. Well done. Great running. Strong effort. That was incredible. Good, <laughs> right then. Hats off once again to GCN's Twig <laughs> for demolishing. Was that a KOM? I don't know, I'm not sure. I did it in like 54 minutes, so maybe, oh, maybe, oh, maybe, oh, maybe oh, just off the go. We might have a new KOM. Team GCN, Richie was there at the end. It's an incredible ride though from Richie, but we have found some GCN crew that have beaten Andrew. Guys, I held on. <laughs> you did it. Hey. You've taken the victory. Thanks, man. I'm not really sure about this. <laughs> right, big thumbs up to everyone though today for a sterling effort. At the Global Bike Festival. Also, let us know in the comments section what time you reckon you do up here. That's right. How much of a head start would you need to beat one of the world's best climbers? It's more than 15 minutes. Oh, that's hard. Now we've got to go back down. I was 11 yeah. minutes down. So that's quite close. That is pretty good, isn't it? Nine, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah.